Hello everybody, I'm on the Central and welcome to a very famous backdrop. Um, any video that starts in Leeds, I ever start it outside the centre or at some shape or form, see that infamous clock tower. There we go, that's it. It's always really weird to try and point your finger um, when you're sort of recording in like a, a self and mode perspective. It's, yeah. But anyway, the famous Leeds bus station clock tower is there. And this is where I thought I'd start my video. I've just jumped off my 72 bus that I um, came into Leeds on. Stop start all the way down, served every single bus stop, um, stopped every single one except two along the entire route that was a little bit painful, but at least it proves that the bus service is popular. So yes, it has a rather noisy MMC departs as well. It looks all the behind me. We are here, um, but not here for that long. In fact, we are going to be um, not jumping on a bus here, not jumping on from the coach station, we're jumping on a service from Kirkgate once all of these noisy um, Arriva buses have gone. Um, but we're going to be jumping on a vehicle from Kirkgate because as you can see by the title, after a few years since they launched, I thought it would be time to return back to Flixbus in the UK to see what they are like for a trip from Leeds to Birmingham. I had a little look at the other prices for Megabus, Nash Express and what have, and I thought that Flixbus for this specific trip I'm doing was the cheapest and fitted in um, with the timetable um, for when I need to be in Birmingham for. So I thought I might as well take a little ride on the Flixbus service. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I've got just over about 20 to 25 minutes now till the coach is scheduled to leave the seas post, get there about 15 minutes before it's due to leave. So we're gonna walk in that direction um, towards where the camera's pointing, under the bridge um, and to Kirkgate um, and the Flix bus, bus stop for our coach to Birmingham. So it's only a short walk to the Flix bus stop from the bus station. Bus station to know the inside the actual bus station facility, that's where Megabus go from. And the other side in the coach station is where National Express go from. But Flix bus, you have a little bit of a walk um, under the tunnel, past the bingo, up to the church and then through a little bit of a park and then walking out of the park down the stairs and here we are at the Flixbus stop for Leeds and I believe the green triaxle in front will be the one that's taken us to Birmingham so yeah, the Triaxle Van Hull YJ16 EPX is going to be um, our Flixbus that will take us to Birmingham. Um, it is on the O7O that starts from Leeds, so the driver's at the other side hiding and having a break. I can't say I blame him. Um, and the O7O starts here and eventually goes all the way to Bristol. Now we're not doing Bristol today, that's going to be hopefully at some point in the future. Um, but today we're going as far as Birmingham. So basically this coach, it starts here, it then stops at Meadow Hall and then runs direct down to Birmingham. So out of the two services that Flixbus offer usually daily between Leeds and um, Birmingham the other one leaving about three or four hours earlier than this and this one's quicker in fact it actually takes just over an hour less and I believe it's timetabled as about two hours and 25 minutes so we leave here at um, quarter past three 15 15 and are due in at 17 40. So there goes the all and all and it's run by, by the looks of it Loch Lomond um, bus services, 23 plate, and that's it, all in all, to London, I believe that's one, judging by the SJ registration plate, has come all the way from Edinburgh and Glasgow, and I believe that's the overnighter from Edinburgh and Glasgow.
just leaving Leeds now. We loaded up about nine minutes before we were due to leave. There was quite a lot of people waiting. Um, about a third of the coach, just over a third of the coach's capacity waiting for the bus. Um, and it loaded up about nine minutes before. So unsurprisingly, we did leave a few minutes late after all the questions, because this bus starts, uh, well, this Flix coach, Flix bus coach service starts from Leeds. There's two others that come through. We saw the old one earlier to London, and there's also the old 73 to Manchester that goes down that way. And um, they both come, roughly speaking, at the same time that this is due to load up and leave. So I had a lot of questions with people asking about that route. Um, the 073 that hadn't shown up yet, um, so we did leave a few minutes late as a result. So a few things that are interesting to note um, is the fact that the seat numbers are totally wrong, um, as per usual, on the Flixbus. I think I remember it from the last ride I had on this, where they give you a seat number that was 14D, and the numbers go up numerically. For example, I'm currently sat in seat 55, so it's row 14 seat D but it doesn't particularly work when you've numbered your coach to all the different. Presentation wise, it's okay. This specific service is provided by Turners. Um, Turners have a mixed reputation depending on who you speak to and they operate the 070, they've run it since it started. Um, and inside you can tell that the vehicle that is a Temza Van Hull Temza coach, you can tell the vehicle um, was built to a nice specification with the nice um, seat maquettes, wood effect flooring and things like that. But it doesn't appear to have been looked after as much as you would expect um, with operators of, of coach services. National Express, they do their cleaning, they do their cleaning regimes and bits like that. Megabus with Stagecoach do the same Flixbus, not so much. So these seats do look a little bit tatty and they, they look a little bit unappealing to sit in. Important to note as well, went over bumpers were left leads and the right side of the coach shook um, and rattled. So interesting interesting vehicle and um, but as long as it gets better that's what matters so we are currently on the m1 now as you can hear just nicely cruising along um, on our way i believe to Meadowhall. and then from Meadowhall, um, we'll come straight off the m1 as per go into Meadowhall and then come straight back out and do the run that i've done many different times down the m1 straight to birmingham to Meadowhall now. Uh, Meadowhall is basically the stop for Sheffield so although Flixbus do have a few workings that go into Sheffield unlike Megabus, most of the workings because of just how easy it is like literally two minutes off the M1 as you've just seen two minutes back onto the M1 it makes sense to stop at Meadowhall. You've got the shopping centre here and then you've got your buses, your trams and even your train um, into Sheffield from here so it's a lot easier um, to stop at Meadowhall for sort of these longer distance up and down the M1 services. So um, we've only arrived in about four minutes um, after we should have left, so we should have left here at five to, and we've only arrived four minutes after schedule. That to say um, is pretty decent all in all. Um, there's been no announcement. We have literally just pulled in. Um, there's been no announcement. I mean, you do have to keep an eye on Google Maps and bits like that. It's not like National Express Megabus where you get an announcement for your call and point. Not had any of that. Um, we're just here, so. Um, yeah, we've only arrived five minutes after. We did get stuck in some traffic, um, but even then it is still a tight timetable. It means unlike with the National Express one we did in the last video on the coaching series, um, we got stuck in a load of traffic and still got in on time. With the Flixbus timetable, it really is. The roads have to be perfect. There can't be any congestion, any problems to ensure that the service runs on time.
that's the stop, so we're just looping round now. I'm going down to the roundabout, loop round, stop there, and then we've arrived in Birmingham. We're stopping near Colomar Row, that's not too far from sort of the main train stations in the centre, so it's not too bad. However, it must be um, pointed out and noted that it does actually say a few different variations as to where the vehicle stops, depending on what site you look at. So here we go, so we have arrived outside the University College Birmingham and the Central Birmingham off our Flixbus from Leeds. So there it is. So yeah, that was a ride on the Flixbus service and um, we've only got in, let me have a little look, we've only got in um, about 5-10 minutes later after it was scheduled, I think it was 10 minutes, and we're 10 minutes later after it was scheduled to arrive and 5 minutes, um, it's around 5 minutes after it was due to leave, it gets about 5 minutes here. And so it hasn't done bad at all to say how bad the traffic was um, in parts, there was a few lane closures and bits and bobs like that. So it hasn't done bad at all. So it was a really, really good run, um, really enjoyed it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I will pass into the studios, I've got to rush off for a train now. So I'm going to pass into the studio for a little bit of a sum up of my experience, any of bits and bobs I may have missed and anything that's worth noting about my Flixbus experience. So, with all things considered, UK Flixbus revisited. So, it has definitely expanded since I did my initial video when they started running the 002 service um, from Bradford, Leeds and Meadowhall to London. A lot has changed since then, a lot more services and a lot more sort of finite route planning. Um, back then it was just let's slap some coaches on some key corridors and see what we can do. Now it's sort of gone to this point where they have got their own little niche in the market. They've got their own little routes. The 070, for example, um, I believe is one of the only direct services from the north of England um, to Bristol, to the West Country, and um, without having to go through London. That is a big attractive point. I mean, even for people like me that do want to go and visit Bristol again, it is a very, very attractive route. Um, and alongside that, it's other random services and random corridors have got alongside the expansion of the overseas um, UK to Europe um, services that have just started that we will be looking at hopefully very, very soon. So looking at it, although um, it did feel like the coach was a little bit in a dire state inside, it's one of these where you do pay for what you get. The low running costs um, that come as a result of the sort of low profits that come in, that come as a result of you getting a cheap ticket, mean that they don't have um, as many vehicles spare, they won't have as many changeovers or where the bus goes back to get cleaned or washed or water, anything like that. It's all sort of up, down, up, down, up, down, that kind of intense running. So as a result, if people don't look after the buses or they're not the not the tidiest, um, unfortunately, that's how the coach will appear when you travel on it. I mean, it can be the case with other operators. However, I did notice with Flixbus, it did look like some of the seats could have done with a clean. Um, it just felt like it was a little bit grubby. But again, as I say, with the cheap price, you can see on the board that was roughly, I believe, how much I paid. Although it does fluctuate between three ninety nine and about seven ninety nine, depending on how early you book it and how full the coach is. Um, you are still getting a bargain compared to other operators. So Flixbus is really still the operator with a bargain. They still the operator that provide the cheap um, prices. However, as a result of that, um, you do notice a difference in standards compared to National Express and Megaboss. Never, um, nevertheless, though, the run itself was good. The timings were okay. I mean, the, it was a very, very tight run for driving hours. So I did feel sorry for the driver who was under a lot of pressure. But from a customer perspective, it was all very good. We got stuck in a fair bit of traffic, but we still didn't affect our running time too severely. And um, it was quite good um, on my end as I had a train to catch afterwards. 
So all in all, I'm going to use Flix Plus again. Um, I will probably be using it for some regular trips um, between Yorkshire and the Midlands, I think, coming up. Um, but I'll also keep having a look at Megabus and National Express. Sometimes when you get different offers coming up and bits like that, they do tend to be cheaper. Um, don't always just check the Flix Plus site when I say you are in for a bargain. It's not always the case. Always do your comparison between different coach operators to make sure you do get the best deal. Again, that'll be a video coming up very soon. But for now though, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have done, do be sure to click that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy like you have. Then if you haven't already, do be sure to subscribe to the Admiral Central YouTube channel for more content like this from the real life bus and coach industry. If you haven't already, do go and check out my other um, National Express and Megabus videos as well as the first Flixbus video I did when Flixbus launched in the UK properly to see a little bit of a comparison of the journey that you watched in this video. For now though, I would like to thank you all for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this one and I will see you all in the next video, mate. Goodbye for now. Bye.